You also hear it for leak backlash. Families want to know why this surveillance video of the Texas elementary school shooting went public before they could view it privately. Calls for action are echoing in the streets of Washington as protesters take a stand against assault weapons. On the small town, there fights for answers and change. A teacher who survived that dreadful day is speaking out. That's right. Simmons Robin Simmons is in the plex to begin our coverage on this. Robin? That teacher is a survivor dealing with his own special kind of loss. 11 of his students were killed May 24th. He and grieving families now reacting to the video. They've been asking for weeks to see. No one expected it to be released the way it was. A warning. Some of our viewers might find this difficult to watch. Surveillance video showing heavily armed law enforcement in a Uvalde, Texas elementary school hallway. At times, they're seen in formation, advancing down the hallway, ducking for cover. One officer seen grabbing sanitizer and checking a cell phone. Police from several agencies waiting for more than an hour as a young gunman fired more than 100 rounds into classrooms, even as children and a teacher called 911 begging for help. The graphic nature of the video and unexpected timing of its release has some loved ones hurt. He didn't have to do this. I don't want to hear my children screaming. I didn't want to hear the gunfire. That wasn't needed. That was unnecessary. Others just angry. These were our babies. Our babies that were taken from us. So to the person that leaked it, screw you. Screw you, and that's coming from me, Felicia Martinez, from all of us. Screw you. The Austin American Statesman newspaper released a four-minute version with the children's screams muted Tuesday. Uvalde's mayor says family members were scheduled to see the videos at a report by the Texas State House investigating the shooting on Sunday. They don't need to relive that. They've, they've been through enough, and that was the most chicken way to put this video out today, whether it was released by the DPS or who it was released for. Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez apologized to the families, blaming a leak. Not only the committee members, DPS, and the governor's office have seen this, but also eight members of the legislature that have signed non-disclosure agreements. So somebody leaked this. Many focusing on the fact that it took police more than an hour to storm the classroom and kill the gunman, a far different story than what emerged early on in the investigation. It was very revealing, uh, very disheartening. I didn't write. At any rate, they signed up for this. They signed up for this to serve and to protect. They didn't do none of that that day. Many grieving families say they feel victimized all over again. The least you can do is have some freaking decency for us. That is unacceptable. Teacher Arnulfo Reyes is the only survivor from classroom 111 at Robb Elementary. He's still absorbing the weight of what this video reveals. For them not to do anything, it's like... It, it, it's, I mean, it's mind-blowing mind because they had a lot of time. And an investigative reporter is now responding to the strong emotions about the release of this video and what his organization's reasoning behind releasing it is. That is coming up at 5. For now, live at the Satellite Center, Robin Simmons, 7 News.